Well, if you're a fan of the arts and are looking for an incredible and unique exhibit, you'll certainly want to head over to New City this weekend. Yeah, News 12's Emily Young shows us why. It's a surreal experience. 140 mannequins turned into stunning displays of art, and it's an unintended consequence of the pandemic. We took mannequins from bankrupt stores, dead mannequins, and transformed them, gave them to artists who gave them new life in all forms and all shapes. We didn't influence them. We told them, do whatever you want. Dan Reagan and his wife Trudy, my wife of 67 years, started the Trudy and Daniel Reagan Foundation several years ago after they retired as a way to give back to the artists community who have never needed it more than right now. And with the virus, a lot of them couldn't pay for their mortgage and pay for their rent. So we didn't want to give them pure charity. We wanted to give them something to work on. Their industry really suffering this past year and a half. I was selling in Nyack in front of Starbucks in the corner and it was, I made masks to sell and it was hard, it was hard. People didn't have the money to buy stuff. How do you eat when you're trying to eat from the arts? Very difficult. We tried to supplement them. We couldn't support them all, so we figured we would get one big show and open it up to the public. And for the artists who haven't had a showing or a reason to create in quite a while, it's reinvigorated them. When you're not out at galleries or shows, uh, you're stuck, and this was wonderful. In New City, voila. Emily Young, News 12. What a unique idea. Yeah. Well, there's an exhibit on display all weekend, Friday through Sunday from 11 to 7 p.m. at the Reagan's residence. It's located on Woodland Road in New City. That info all up on our website, news12.com. Now, admission is free, but bring some cash. Who knows? Maybe you'll leave with one of those pieces of art. They certainly are stunning. Keep